What's up, guys? That is refreshing. Welcome back to another episode of Adventures in Drunk Fish Keeping. So, first things first. As you can see, I got the 120 in. Love this tank. A couple things about it. It is a 60 inch long, 18 inch deep, 24 inch tall 120, um, which is the preferred style I have. I like long tanks. I don't really care as much about the height uh, as much as I want the length and the depth for swim room because I want to have the ability to watch stuff swim around. The brackets are for two Hydra 26s that will be coming in next week. Brand new Hydra 26s that are fully programmable, which I will do a video on programming the Hydra 26s because they are absolutely awesome. They are worth every penny and they're very expensive, but they're very nice. Um, so you can see the 54 is a little devoid of rock because I pulled most everything out and went ahead and put it in the 120. Um, if you want to see on the 120, I've got a lot of space in it um, for swim room and I've got a lot of archway going. I've got an archway here and I've got a nice big archway over here. So there's plenty of room for the fish to swim back and forth and move around. And I have plenty of spot to put coral. Um, the center section is all interlocking so you can pull stuff off really quick. You need to get in there for any reason or you just want to change it up. Um, this is a standard Eurostop center brace tank, which I like. Dual overflow. It's got a nice sump set up underneath, which you can see it's got decent size, you know, plexiglass sump, uh, protein skimmer, meteor reactor, heater, you know, standard setup. Um, the piping under this one is all soft, which you know, it may not look as cool, uh, but it's a whole lot easier to work on and you don't have to cut and tear stuff apart if you need to move the tank, maintenance the tank, anything like that. Um, I actually got this tank from the owner of my local LFS. Um, this is actually his personal tank. So it's been running for years. Um, he literally broke it down last week and it went straight to my house. So he broke it down and came to my house and here we go. Um, I was going to do a video on it earlier, but I wanted to get everything topped off, want everything running good, um, get the water clear out so you can actually see what's going on inside there. Uh, the 13 is actually sold now. I got somebody coming to pick that up next weekend. So that tank will be gone for right now. Um, I'll probably do a very specific style tank in the future. I may end up going to another Fluval, maybe like a Flex, uh, maybe another Evo, or maybe like a 20 gallon and do like a, a Mandarin Dragonette Scooter Blenny Twin Spots, you know, like a bottom swim around type, um, like a specialty tank. Um, the 54 is going to be going. I got somebody that's interested in buying this. Cool thing, if you're looking to do a tank, and I know I've talked about this before, <clears throat> and um, I've talked about like, you know, weird shit, weird shaped tanks. 54, the corner tanks, um, they're cool. You don't, they're really good for doing reefs with small stuff, like, you know, maybe a small tang, you know, as a juvenile, um, you know, an anthias, small, uh, smaller wrasses, you know, clowns, firefish, gobies, you know, stuff like that. Not a lot of room for swimming, um, you can see in the tank, even with it empty. You know, that lyre tail anthias right there is maybe two and a half inches. You know, those oscillates clowns are, I mean, they're that big. So. There's not a huge amount of room in these tanks for swim room, but it's good for fish that like to hang out in one area, like clowns or, you know, gobies, dragonets. Um, you know, it's a cool tank. If you're hurting for space and you can't, like, you know, do something this big, the 54, the corner style tanks, the bow fronts give you a lot of, a lot of depth of a tank without having to take up a huge amount of room. Because if you look, this tank really doesn't take up that much room. I mean, it's arm length for me and it's not that deep out and it doesn't take up a whole lot of space on the side of your house. Um, this is the biggest tank I've had so far. Now I know a lot of guys out there with three and four and five hundred plus gallon tanks, a 120s, they're sump. But it's the biggest tank I've had and I'm really happy with the tank. Um, as someone who's always kind of done smaller tanks and the 54 being the biggest tank that I had, 
if you've watched my channel or any of my older videos, you know at one point I had two two and a half as freshwater grow out tanks um, for my pistogram of cichlids. And then I had the 15 fluval that's over here, the flex, um, and then a 20 gallon and the 54. And then I kind of condensed and I kind of expanded again. Now I'm condensing again. And we'll probably expand another point, um, one more direction this time. I've kind of been, you know, goofing around, messing around with tanks and stuff, getting them at deals and getting them at ice cold. Um, give them, at, you know, good prices so I can kind of mess around with tanks. But I'm kind of liking going into the bigger tank. Um, there's so much more room. You don't have to be as selective. Um, you know, with the 54, I had to be really selective with my rock. What I got had to fit, what I had got had to work in the tank. So really selective about my fish. Um, same thing with the 13, you know, it was, I had to be super duper selective because it's such a small tank. There's zero room for putting too much in there because then you end up with just a, a tank full of rock or too much sand or not enough room or, hey, I really like this fish, but I can't put him in here because he's bigger than the tank. Um, the bigger you go on tanks, the less of that you deal with. Um, nano tanks, anything under 20 gallons that normally say is not a good beginner's tank. It's not if you're not going to take care of the tank. Um, if you're not going to constantly keep up, update the tank, keep the water fresh in it, you will end up with problems. Um, the bigger tanks kind of can fluctuate a little bit more before you'll see a problem as far as water parameters, things like that. They're a little more on the stable side. Of course, that gives you a whole other range for fish. You know, you can go up into larger tangs, you can go up into larger wrasses. Um, angels, if you're not really doing coral or you just want to feed them expensive pieces of coral, yeah, whatever you want to do. Um, the 54, like I said, it's good if you're in a smaller place, you know, if you're in an apartment or a townhouse or, you know, only have one bedroom to deal with, it's not a bad tank to do. Um, the 120 is still actually not, I mean, it's big, but it's not like massive to the point where like, you know, it's not a 360 gallon tank, which is twice the size of this. Literally, I mean, they're a good two foot longer, you know, a foot and a half wider and a foot and a half taller, and they're massive. And you can do a lot with a tank that size, but you really start running into, do I want a half of my house to be dedicated to a tank, or do I want half my house to be able to live in it? Now, if I had my wish, I would actually plexiglass the floor in my living room and just make a large tank and have like a 3,000 gallon tank that you sat around, uh, but that would be absolutely ridiculous. Or not, who knows, I mean, if I, if I have enough of this, that could happen. I'll probably never ever get a deposit back on this place, but it'll be cool, you watch. Um, in closing, I'm gonna be updating more often now that I'm doing the 120 and I've got more stuff to update with because the 120 is gonna be like my big hobby, my big updates. Um, as I put fish in, as I add coral, as I add things, the videos will come more often. Um, you know, I'm kind of sad to see the 54 years. It was my first reef tank, but it's time for me to move up, get bigger, uh, better. And as these tanks, as this tank grows, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, suggestions for fish, because I'm kind of curious. I'm really, really debating what kind of tanks I want to put in there, because I really want really two good swimmers, but I can't go too big. And I really thought about a Vlamingi. I like a purple tank, but you know, they get like almost two foot long when they're adults. and. It's not gonna take them long to get that big, so still debating, but any updates or suggestions for fish, hit up in the comments. Thanks, guys.